The Los Angeles Unified School District is currently investigating the alleged distribution of inappropriate images among students at Fairfax High School. It is the latest school to be mired in a similar situation in recent weeks. They're still determining if AI was actually used in this case, but it brings into question how parents can protect their children. Joining me now to talk more about this is cybersecurity expert from Checkpoint, Tony Sinaj. Thank you for joining us, Tony. Now, so far from what we know, a third-party messaging app was used to distribute these images. Images. Technology advances so quickly, the law is still being developed, doesn't always keep up. So can companies be held accountable to some capacity if their app is used to distribute this? So that's long been a question with social media and third-party messaging apps. Of the data that is on their platforms, are they responsible or liable for that information? We've seen this with Twitter and X. We've seen this with, with other platforms. And it's so easy now to create deep fake and fake photos and fake videos that anybody with a, you know, mildly powerful computer uh, and some source images can create fairly accurate uh, deep fakes of both video and soft uh, video and uh, and still images. So there's a legal aspect, there's a technology aspect, there's a an ethical aspect. Obviously, this was a school district, so there's a, uh, you know codes of conducts that are that are involved uh, whether or not they were deep fakes or not and so what about the actual app could could parents of the victims go after the app itself you know in, in, in most cases and it's, as as you mentioned the law is you know somewhat behind uh, the technology these days the app platform itself is more than likely not liable for information that is being transmitted over their app especially when it's a a point-to-point -point messaging uh, solution and not more of a public website like a, a Twitter or Facebook or Instagram where where the images are public. If it's a messaging app, it's usually point-to-point. -point. So I think the, again, the, the law is somewhat behind it, but the liability probably falls more on the, the user than the platform itself. Okay, now when this happened at Beverly Hills High School, five kids were expelled uh, following also an AI-generated scandal. Now. The question is, are there other consequences that kids can face, even if they're minors? Could there be criminal charges with something like this? Yeah, so just, you know, uh, deep fakes or not, obviously the, the, the law still applies, even if they were valid images uh, that are inappropriate or, or you know, uh, obscene or of, of a private nature. Um, these may have been minors involved, too, so that brings in a whole aspect of, of the law of, of you, know, um, you know, transmitting, you know, what, child pornography. So there's those law aspects that, that, that come into play. Um, I think what people need to do is be careful what type of information they're sharing on social media, who has access to it, whether they're making public images. Um, there's enough video of me right now just in this interview to create a, a fairly good deep fake of myself, you know, saying anything. Um, so that doesn't take a lot of data to, to be able to create these deep fakes. So it's very, very easy for people to create them. And quickly, when we talk about the mental health aspect and the kind of damage this can cause, you know, we've seen suicides over things like this. What kind of conversations should parents have with their kids to protect them from this? Yeah, I, I think people really need to take a look at uh, their social media and what they're posting online publicly um, and who they're sharing information with. So, you know, locking down some of the social media, not making all of your Instagram or TikTok posts or uh, you know, even Twitter posts public um, and, and kind of protecting your own brand and your own image online uh, and, and only sharing images with, with people that you trust in your friend circle uh, and, and, and not having as much public information out there. Thank you so much for joining us. It sure is tough to, tough to be a kid and a parent in these days.